Hey friends, welcome back on my YouTube channel. So yes, I am back with new video and in this video I am going to clear all your doubts which I was receiving on my comment section. So here I will explain all the things. So yes, you have to stay connected with me till the end so that you could know the whole, whole things in details. Okay, so as you can see, I got my date of joining intimation today and uh, let me show you today only i received this mail like dear candidate greetings from cognizant welcome to cognizant the fastest growing global top tier consulting it services and dpo company so all the things which is required is written here and uh, you can see it is highlighted your date of joining is 15th february so um, the, there is no link between uh, date of joining mail and uh, your bgv or pre-joining because uh, there are so many confusion like uh, students are saying they haven't received their date of joining even after completion of the bgv and pre-joining formalities also and there are some students who have received already date of joining and those who have not still completed the bgv and the uh, pre-joining okay so this there is no link it is uh, this message you will force your receive but the mandatory things that you have to complete your BGV and pre-joining formalities at least five days before of the date of joining which is mentioned here. Like many of you have asked in my previous video in my comment section I have received in mail also like uh, there are how many days we can uh, accept our offer letter or uh, we can do the further process of pre-joining formalities and BGV. So is there any time limit? So if you have not found your date of joining, then there is no time limit. But yes, you have to do as soon as possible. You can do. But if you got your date of joining and you don't want to extend it then you have to do all the process before five days at least okay and also here is a chance you can extend your date of joining so you can see here like when you receive your offer letter there is an option of accepting offer letter you can accept or you can decline also so here also you can see like you have to accept your date of joining so um, let me show you date of joining click here to accept your date of joining doj Matlab, means you have to click here if you want to accept your date of joining you can also uh, delay also if your all documents are not ready but if you want to join with the with this date of joining only which you have received then for that you have to upload all the documents or you have to do all the processes five days prior to your date of joining okay and bgv validation will be marked successful only when the mandatory documents meet the eligibility criteria mentioned so after your all process you will be onboarded so the onboarding pass will be generated on, uh, only on the successful completion of the bgv and pre-joining formalities steps so after that you will be provided webex links will be shared to you to complete the onboarding process so this is the further process so when i will do that processes so i will share my experience and i will show everything step by step of that also but for now let me show you that uh, yes i have received my date of joining and those who were in confusion like how many time limit are there of to uh, complete the bgv and pre-joining formalities so if you have received your date of joining then at least five days before you have to complete all the process and if you don't want to accept this date of joining then also uh, you can do the process for that so yes it was like this and yes very important thing i want to share with you all like in my previous video i was very sad and disappointed and i have shared my experience that i was facing login issue on i was not able to log in my one cognizant portal right it was like invitation redemption failed and i have shown you 
the interface also which type of interface i was facing so let me show you once again i have taken the screenshot so i was facing this invitation redemption failed and request id correction id again and again so it this was like this and also after this now i received another mail for bgv process and when i was trying to log in my one cognizant portal with that bgv link also then also i was receiving this like sorry but we are having trouble signing you in so this login issue i was facing and i have faced this issue around three days and uh, you know what i have i was so disappointed but yes i didn't give up i was continuously trying to raise query i have raised query also and uh, yes i have mailed and i have also shared in my previous video what are the mails id you have to do so one official mail id you have to do on gen cob support here it is you can see gen cob support at the rate cognizant.com so on this mail id you can uh, mail all your problems whatever you are facing okay so one ca one candidate has asked me regarding the aadhar card like his the, her aadhar card is not uh, ready yet so what she can do you can mail here like in this case what you can do of course you have to apply it as soon as possible and you have to get ready because without your and aadhar card or pan card all the mandatory documents i have said without these you cannot do your rejoining formalities of course um, in offer letter it is written like uh, there are three months you have three months to accept and to um, pursue it okay so but uh, there are confusion still because in offer letter it is written that uh, you have three months to accept the offer letter but the link you will receive of pre-joining formalities in uh, in that link it is written like you have to uh, accept your offer letter within seven days so it will better if you will accept your offer letter within seven days and further process you can do later on within three months like uh, if you have when you will receive your correct document because there should not any mismatch of any uh, names or anything all the documents should be proper and correct then only your bgv will be verified successfully and you will um, be onboarded and you will uh, get the date of joining which will be provided to you otherwise it will be rejected or you will you have to maybe upload again or so there are so many terms and conditions regarding this so i hope i have cleared you your this doubt and uh, yes so i was um, facing this issue na, and th after so many mails like i have done i have shown you also in my previous video so yes my problem is solved now and uh, yeah you can see here this mail id i have received yesterday so i have received another mail of pre-joining formalities and so now i am successfully able to log in my uh, one cognizant portal you can see i have already logged in also so the, the the interface will be like this you have to do you have to upload all these in mandatory documents i haven't completed yet i'll complete it shortly so yeah it was like this i have to show you i have to share my experience so and uh, when you will click uh, there are so many students who are very excited for bgv process like the bgv option is not enabled um, right so for you i have uh, taken the screenshot when you will click on the bgv now because after completion i can't uh, click on the bgv so that's why i have taken a screenshot so it the interface will be like this you have to click here to start your bgv process after clicking on bgv option so when you will click here now then the uh, you will be able to see this kind of interface yeah so here you have to fill your personal information you have to click here view or edit option there you will get uh, uh like uh, you have to fill your name uh, and your name and email will be by default it will be filled by their side only you can't edit that and also what you have to keep in your mind you 
cannot edit after saving so you have to fill it very carefully okay and uh, there will uh, you have to declare your pan declaration form will be there like uh, name as per your pan card and your pan number you have to write in this personal information and uh, your proper address like uh, house number flat street and district state country country code uh, and nationality sex uh, and uh, so all the personal information related things will be here so you have to fill it very carefully no any mistake should be there and uh, in uh, ed, ed education part you have to fill your um, like uh, if you have of course you have to start with 10th uh, you have to first fill the uh, all the uh, things of 10th like um, your board your school name uh, your mode of education regular or irregular um, i mean full time or part time and then the <clears throat> how much uh, percentage or cgpa you got and uh, then the from date to date like the session you have to write everything in exact and then the 12th of all the details of 12th in this um, similarly of 10th and then you, if you have done UG or if if you have done your diploma then you will like if it is applicable for you then you can go for a diploma you will fill all the details of diploma and if you have done your P, UG degree then you will uh, fill that like I have taken a screenshot of this also so it will be like this your UG college name should i mean uh, college name your university name your uh, uh, mode of education name uh, i mean type and then the um, your roll number your uh, what i was saying so everything uh, and if we, this is your highest education if ug is your highest education then you have to tick that option also so it was like this you will get and after that uh, here you have to upload your certificates mark sheets all the documents so see uh, here you have to upload all the things okay your letter of authorization background verification you will you will you have to upload your letter of authorization from the portal only and what you have to do you have to just uh, take a print out of it and uh, you have to edit it first of all in uh, your computer only it will be better so like your name your father's name your um, your uh, age and uh, and in the below you have to write your name in block letters okay so you have to take print out of it and then you have to sign it thoroughly and you have to put date correct date in which date you are uh, uh, putting this and then you have to take a scan copy of it and then you have to upload it here okay so and the uh, campus affidavit is not for everyone it is for those who have pursuing who are pursuing their uh, ug degree but those who have already completed it is not for them and uh, yeah passport is also like there were so many comments i have received of um, passport is mandatory or not so you can see asterisk is not here it, this is not mandatory part okay but if you are having your passport then of course you can upload first page and last page of it and pan card is mandatory your uh, semester mark sheet is mandatory your provisional certificate is mandatory you have to upload here and total number of mark sheets minus two means like uh, those who are pursuing so you have to upload the um, most number of certificates like if you have all so you will upload all cert all semester certificate but if you are having only four like the whole um, like there are six semester so you will upload a four semester minus two up to four semester it is mandatory to upload okay and here you will upload of 10th standard and here you will upload of 12th standard so yes right now i haven't uploaded i'm just showing it to you because if i will complete all this process so i won't be able to show you because i can't edit and i can't click the, that option again so it was like this only and uh, yeah i hope i have cleared all your doubts but still if you're having any kind of doubt then you can just comment below i'll make sure to answer you and uh, 
if it would it will be possible to make another video for you then i will make sure to make that also and uh, yes if you want to support me if you feeling if you are feeling that yes i'm working hard and uh, i'm you are getting help from my video then please do like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel it will pay nothing but uh, of course it will motivate me and uh, yeah thank you yeah those who were feel, who are still facing the issue of login if you are not enabled to login still so there are there is only one solution first to you have to wait second you don't have to wait uh, like uh, without doing anything you have to mail you have to raise query you have to mail on this jncob support at the red cognizant.com because on this mail id after mailing now you will you might get reply because there is very less chance to get reply but yes my query is resolved so that's why i'm saying saying this to you so you can mail you can raise query within three days they will answer you so don't panic okay because there are so many mails they are getting now so within three days at least uh, they will revert back to you okay so i hope if you are facing any kind of issue regarding this uh, it may resolve and uh, that's all about this video we'll meet next day thank you